Hey, I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the director of content for Book Riot, and I'm back this week with five more great books that came in the mailbag. We can just start with the one that I am most excited about. Coming out on June 30th by Daniel Jose Older is Shadow Shaper. This is a young adult fantasy set in an alternate version of Brooklyn about a girl who paints murals, and it turns out that she is a shadow shaper, meaning that she is able to infuse paintings and music and stories, all kinds of art with ancestral spirits. Someone is killing the shadow shapers one by one, and it seems that they think Sierra knows the biggest secret. I'm about 100 pages into this one. I stayed up way past my bedtime last night to get going with it, and I wish I could have finished it in one sitting. I hardly ever see the movie of a book in my head as I'm reading. I tend to hear the language more, and this is just doing it all. Put it on your lists for June 30th. In keeping with the young adult fantasy line, this is Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. It comes out April 28th. The main character of this book, Aza, has a lung disease, and so she has difficulty breathing on Earth. One day she sees ships up in the sky, but everyone around her thinks that she's just hallucinating, except for one friend who believes her. And then all of a sudden she is taken into the world of the ships, which is called Magonia, and there she can breathe. She doesn't have any trouble. Magonia and Earth are on the cusp of a conflict and Aza finds herself at the center of it. This is getting wildly great reviews. I've seen it all over the place for several months now. Many of our Book Riot contributors are really, really excited about it, and I can't wait to dig in myself. And speaking of space, how do you like that segue? I've got Leaving Orbit, Notes from the Last Days of American Spaceflight by Margaret Lazarus Dean. Dean went down to Cape Canaveral in Florida in 2011 for the last three U.S. space shuttle launches. And this is a look at the history of American spaceflight, sort of the cultural and global meaning of American spaceflight, and what it means that we are not currently flying manned ships into space. It seems like space and astronaut books have been having something of a moment for the last few years. There have been some really great astronaut memoirs. Neil deGrasse Tyson has just been all over the place and like as much Neil deGrasse Tyson as we can get as possible would be awesome. Thank you. So if you are a space nerd or you want to be a space nerd, this looks like a good place to start. Next up coming out on May 19th is The Life and Death of Sophie Stark by Anna North. This is about a documentary filmmaker who becomes a little too intrusive with one of her subjects and then is the recipient of retribution for those efforts. She doesn't apologize and she is not cowed. She just continues to take stories from the lives of people around her. I'm just starting to hear the buzz about this one. It seems like a great thing to read over the summer. And rounding things out is The Rose Hotel by Rahima Andalibian. It comes out May 12th. Andalibian is an Iranian-born writer. This is a memoir of her family and how they survived the 1979 revolution, moved to California, and then balanced the weight of new traditions and their cultural heritage. Andalibian also is attempting to make sense of two major events that shaped her life. One is a rape that her father avenged, and the other is the murder of which her brother is accused. This just showed up on my doorstep last week. It's by National Geographic Books. They tend to do such a wonderful job shining a spotlight on stories from all around the world, and I'm really excited to dig into this one. So those are the highlights of my mailbag this week. If you've read any of these, if you've had your eye on them, if any of them are new to you but you think they look particularly great, or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to click subscribe to stay up to date with all of Book Riot's bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.